Good morning, everybody. Fishing the odds. Today we're doing some. Uh, oh, my daughter wants to get in. Today we're doing some coho and chinook fishing. Say good morning. Morning. Doing bobber and eggs in the first hole here, twitching, etc. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Also got Brandon from Tri Cities here. So. What's up, everybody? You excited, Brandon? Dude, I'm so pumped. I, uh, last time we were here, it was pretty good to us about a year ago. So we're gonna see if we can't duplicate it. There you go. You guys stay tuned. Coming home. Oh, oh, my bad. Cool. Woo. How's it feel, buddy? First one. Feels so good. You glad you drove? So glad. Kind of picked up where we left off here. I nice. Feel a little seven. What? Seven, eight pounds, eight pounds. Poke it, Charlie. Go Standard. poke it. Here you go, Charlie. Charlie, poke it. Fishy. Just poke it. <gasps> yeah. Full of eggs. Good job. Good job, Brandon. All right, guys. Brandon just caught this fish. It's nice to have one of these big carabiners. Just throw the fish on there like that. Let them bleed in the water. This water is super cold, so that fish can be down there for quite a while. You want to get those, those eggs nice and wet, so. Good job, Brandon. Charlie, what you got there? Donut. <laughs> Going over there. Twitching up. Brandon set the pace, got one on a twitching jig. We're seeing some old dark chinook roll too. Not exactly gave the bobber a ton of effort though. Half a pass. Yeah. <laughs> I got tapped to the first pass of there. Yeah, it's kind of right in that center there. See if we can get you to hook one while we're filming here. How much battery does this thing have? A lot. I'll film one more. That's What's that, Charlie? Does. What's he doing wrong? You tell him. What am I doing wrong, big girl? Huh? You're not doing wrong, Daddy. I know. That's huh? right. You're doing good, Dada. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Brandon's doing good too. Mm -hmm. He caught fish. It's the donuts, huh, Charlie? <laughs> mm -hmm. I think once you start the chocolate one, we'll probably get another one. Sometimes it's color. Hey, yeah. 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 Like, even mommy and my purple donut. I got that one rolling. <laughs> oh, you're going this way. I just couldn't help but wonder if there's a log or something sticking out on that point. No, I anchored my boat right there. Oh, it's deep all through there? It's not really deep, it's like four feet right yeah. there. Yeah. Can Daddy get back in the boat? Yeah. <laughs> I can come in? Yeah. He's hooked up. Oh, no. 
don't think he's in the mouth. Do that. You can't tip this raft, big girl. Yeah, he fell. <laughs> I'll let you do some rowing in the tide water later, okay? There's some navigating daddy's got to do down here. Look at that, dude. Oh, nice. Oh, he's gone. Homer, too, dude. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
now has a new addic ad addicted twitching jig, or no, arrow Yakima, dude. Yakima bait jig that's part of its body <laughs> forever. <laughs> How's that soup? Oh my god, so good. Did it actually stay warm, huh? Dude, and that it's steaming. I can't even eat it. Oh, I'll be doing. Shout out to Stanley, huh? Dude, this is super hot. Gotta like, kinda like let it rest. <laughs> so, Brandon just had a sandwich. In the second part of Charlie's lunch. Oh. Well, donut number two. Put it back? Are you gonna put it in your stomach? <laughs> Where'd the other one go, Charlie? I eat it. <laughs> I eat it all. Well, what do you think, everybody? I think I'm gonna try to pull another fish, fish out of there in about 10 minutes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Does that mean I get to sit here and film for 10 minutes? Yeah. All right. <laughs> you can't fish no more. <laughs> Designated That's what I mean, we're doing a whole rest, so. Yeah. Turned out to be if a pretty nice day. If we can have candy, then we can eat it all. Right? You want to tell people uh, what you think about the water conditions and fish moving and what we saw on the graph? Well, I believe that is. I should probably check the tide chart. <laughs> yeah, we definitely should. But, uh,. We got clear conditions today. Um, we had a rise in the river yesterday. And what that did is that pushed up existing fish. And we're seeing a little bit of fish coming behind it, not too much. But uh, we're hoping as we get lower in the river here, we're gonna find some some pods of fish moving up as we get down in the system. Because I I what, what I notice now is the previous holes that we've been fishing, they're not loaded with fish that I've seen in the past, uh, in the last week, so. But up Ooh. higher. Up higher this morning, guys, you could sit and look down river, and you would just see wakes of fish, you know, pods of, what, 10, 20, 30 fish moving up river, so. And now it's uh, it's on the drop, so it's good for the bite, you would think. But a lot of these are early A-run kind of fish, and, and uh, we're having a hard time getting them to go. Where's the cheese go, Charlie? On your sandwich. <laughs> You don't have to film this whole thing, by the way. The cheese, Dada. I, <laughs> I need a cheese, cheese, cheese. I figured you'd just keep talking if you needed to say something or right. wanted to say something. Right, gay. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie named me, nicknamed me Gay, and nicknamed him Rainbow. <laughs> We're batting a thousand today, boys. Okay, everybody. Whole rest completed. Lunch semi completed. Dude, hot soup on the river is amazing. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe I haven't thought about this like three years ago. Yum. Literally, look at the steam. It's just super hot. Just boil it in the morning. No work to it. You got hot food on the river. And for all of you guys that don't know this guy, two years, three years straight, never brought food. You don't need food. You don't need food. Just a couple beers, no water, no food. Look at this guy. Yeah. Look how prepared he is now. I'm getting old, man. Yeah. Getting closer to 30. Look at that. Uh, what a couple years does to you. Is there one more donut? Just for you. All right, everyone. See you uh, probably when we hook another one. Uh-uh. He did, Daddy. Uh-uh. What'd he do? He splashed me. You uh -uh. splashed her? No. I don't know who that was, Charlie. I think it was a bird. Did you see the big bird fly by? No, that was you. I don't know. Little native guys, gotta let her go.
Watch out, Charlie. You ready? So we're uh we're kind of put off by this extremely high tide. We had a full moon yesterday. Um, this tide is huge. The water stopped becoming the river stopped becoming the river a lot further up than it normally does. <laughs> it started looking like this tide, tide water everywhere, which makes it really hard to figure out where the fish are going to be holding. I mean, you know, usually there's seams and little things that indicate where a fish is going to sit, but when the water's up this high, we kind of lost all of that, so we're playing a lot of guesswork, and we also believe that there's no real reason a fish is going to be holding in this, it's probably going to be squirting up, so our move here is going to take, going to be taking the boat out, going up river and hitting a couple pockets really hard for an hour or two, and then getting, getting out of here, so hitting them from the bank, so um, we'll be at the takeout here in 10 minutes. And wish us luck. We're gonna need it. And wish us luck, guys. We're gonna need it. Charlie, you rowing the boat? Yeah. Good job. My water's right there. Good job, big girl. I it. Daddy's proud of you. Here's my shuttle. Daddy shuttle. Back out of here. It's the only way to get back to my truck today, boys. Look at that, Ben. Nice flat tire. Appreciate the bike, Bill. Appreciate the bike, though. Side flossing. That's so awesome, big girl. That can be his that he can climb on. I'm gonna his new Are you making a house for the caterpillar? Yeah. That's his new home. Where's Daddy. the caterpillar at? Did you bury him in the leaves? Yeah. Wanna see him? Yeah, I wanna see him. Oh, he's right there. I just touched him. 
Okay, p build this house back up, okay? Okay. They come from just that corner, or they come up that chute? They come up from the corner, man. They do? Mm-hmm. Less likely that it was a bunch of fresh fish. Yeah, just decided to run at a different angle. We tried. We did not I am done. Kind of cool last effort we got to use the pole though. Yeah. Know what you mean, Daryl? Daryl Dean. Darlene. <laughs> know what you mean, Darlene? guys so that that does it man forgot to film back there at the ramp but we uh we got into i want to say i don't know seven fish total like somewhere around there yeah somewhere around there <clears throat> i lost everything i hooked <laughs> I, no i landed one I landed a buck you landed one yeah i forgot about that brandon landed two and lost some others i'm sorry guys we're kind of on a windy road right here yeah but uh it was it was tough fishing, man. We we had a really really big tide, 12 feet, 12 13 feet. The tide was huge. Um, there was a pot of fish that were biting in the morning, and it sounds like the guys that were waiting that went up with that pot of fish caught their fish. However, we did it quite the opposite. <laughs> we uh, we had the fish at our feet for a moment. That's when we were kind of getting bit, and then we floated past them, and nothing came behind them, uh, which is weird. Well, we had like two extra miles, or we thought we had, what, damn near 50% of the float left, and the rest of it was just all flooded, I mean, tide water. Yeah, and yeah, it shouldn't have been. Normal river water yeah. was tied today. No current, absolutely, it was like a lake. So. And so, if, if fish were coming up, um, they weren't biting, and where, where do you target them at, right? Because you can't tell where they're going to sit, they're sitting everywhere, so... We had, we had a good time. We had a good time fishing like we always do. Um, still a good day. We got meat in the, in the fridge for Brandon, taking home some fish. And a uh, nice hen. Nice hen to boot, so. This guy fishes a lot. He doesn't think it was a great day. I thought it was an awesome day. We hooked some fish and got some meat <laughs> from the freezer, so hey, I'm happy. It was, it was a fine day. No, no, we had a good time. Like I said, we caught fish. Good time. Uh, def definitely, uh, Always have a good time fishing with. <coughs> hey boy. <laughs> okay, Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely have a good time fishing with Brandon. Likewise. We have a blast. We'll see you guys on the next one, huh? Say bye, Charlie. Oh, she's asleep. Charlie passed out? Yeah.